Hi, everybody. I know it's been so long since I made a video, <laughs> and I'm sorry about that, but life has happened, and I wasn't videoing for a really long time, um, but I told John I want to start videoing, and I mean really long time, meaning like three weeks, right? Like that Garden of the Gods video was three weeks ago, and I just put it together, and that's the kind of one that I like because I didn't have to edit it. I just slapped it up there. So, y'all, lots has happened. Well, lots, like, this whole year has happened, but I mean, in the last three weeks, a lot has happened. So, first off, first off, and we'll do a, we'll do a better introduction later, but I want to show you guys something. She's here! Say hello to Lorelai. I know I'm probably making you sick with the swing, but sometime we'll do like a better, so close, a better like introduction. I don't know if I'm going to do a birth story. It was actually quite traumatic. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had a baby. <laughs> we had a baby. So let's see. Well, now, and now I'm home. What was that squeaking? I'm gonna come out here just because lighting, it's trying to rain. Well, it is raining, so there it was again. It must be a bird or a squirrel or something. Um, my house is dark. My house is dark because it's trying to rain, but it's light outside. I don't understand. Maybe I have like secret window tinting or something. So, y'all. Let's see what happened. I don't know. I don't even know where I like left off. Maybe I should go watch my last chatty video just so I know what I told you guys. <sighs> oh, because I don't know. Um, let's see. I don't know. I think the last time I like updated you on baby was when like back in July when they were doing the extra... Um, ultrasounds and so let's see let's just start there with the kidney ultrasound we went in for the kidney ultrasound kidneys look good um they're just worried about they were worried about the size of the baby because baby was so small so I waited three weeks and had another ultrasound with my doctor and baby was still small like slowly gaining um and they wanted to see what percentile she would be in because if she was under the 10th percentile, they were going to have to induce, blah, blah, blah. Well, it ended up she was like five and a half pounds at one of them and at that ultrasound and in the 12th percentile. But my doctor was still like, I'd really rather induce you in, at 39 weeks instead of 40. And I know you usually go to 41 weeks, but that'd be two weeks. And then um, I guess they were like, she wasn't gaining weight and my placenta was aging so um that first week that first Wednesday of August of course I have a low battery that first week of August I got well John went with me to that ultrasound and we got to see baby and this oh my gosh and let me drop ya and Oh, no, they didn't do the ultrasound. Oh, my gosh. Okay. He went with me to see the ultrasound. It was one week too early, and they hadn't caught that discrepancy, so we couldn't do the ultrasound. So he went with me and took time off for nothing, and then they were like, we'll do it next week. I'm like, great. Okay, fine. Well, he couldn't... We were afraid to ask for time off again because with his last job, they wouldn't have ever let him take time off for an appointment. And this time we found out they were like, why didn't you go with Jessica to her appointment? And he was like, because I didn't want to ask for no more time off. And they were like, dude, dude. <laughs> You should have. So the next week I went for an ultrasound and uh, baby was five and a half pounds, 12th percentile. And my doctor goes, let's schedule an induction. 
And I was thinking like, okay, earlier in the week that she was due. And my doctor was like, no, we're going to do the week before. Um, and so I got scheduled for an induction on the 14th. And I went home, ball, like I went back to my grandparents bawling, sobbing. Because number one, I wasn't going to get to carry full term. Number two, I was going to be induced, blah, blah, blah. And they want me, they, she said, you know, you need to rest as much as possible so that baby can get all like the blood flow and the nutrients and everything from the placenta so it's not like fighting trying to get baby enough and you need to rest and we need to get the baby before anything happens so I was freaked out I had been able to FaceTime John for the ultrasound but then when I tried to call him to you know, talk about inducing, he could not answer. They were out of service and all that. And so I went home sobbing back to my grandparents. And I was just kind of heartbroken that once again, things were not going my way in this pregnancy. Um, and I was supposed to rest and all this. And uh, I'm trying to think. So we, you know, we're getting ready, kind of. I had a friend over the Friday before, and we had a great time. She was here all day. We had a great time. Um, and then she ended up in the hospital the Sunday I went home from the hospital having Lorelai. And I'll do the birth story sometime, maybe. I don't even know. It's very, she was almost, like I'll say, she was almost an emergency C-section which scared me to death. Um, we almost lost her. Like, that's all I'm going to say. She's here now, though. <laughs> and it's been, she's 10 days old today. It's Monday, 10 days after. Um, hospital stay was excellent. Hospital care was excellent. Like, I can't, ugh, I can't speak enough. Like, literally, when I say she was almost an emergency C-section, I delivered her on the OR table in the OR. But my doctor was like, wise enough to not just crack me open it, like it's such a long story so um she's doing great she's so tiny she was five pounds ten ounces this is the smallest I've ever had because mine have always been almost six and a half pounds like that was the smallest and that was Tyron 11 years ago so but that week you guys that week was crazy I'm trying to think I don't even know I think the Monday was okay Oh no, Monday I was sick. Yeah, I was, hmm? yeah, Monday I was sick. Hurting, like nauseous. I thought I was in labor, so I couldn't do anything. Oh, Sunday we got a flat tire. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so long, and this is going to be the only video that I put up. I'm not going to do anything else, but okay, so Sunday we woke up to a flat tire. Had to pump it up just to get to church. We scheduled for me to go in and get it fixed on Monday, but I woke up not feeling good, depressed, sick, all that stuff. Um, so I just stayed home, got some stuff at home done, like minimal. I have lost a whole box of girl clothes. Like, I don't, I mean, we're like slowly accumulating now, but I didn't have girl clothes. Couldn't find the cover to my bassinet so the friend who's in the hospital right now actually is loaning me her bassinet she's an angel uh we'll talk more about that sometime too i hear thunder but it's not raining um so then scheduled it for tuesday couldn't do it tuesday for some reason so i was like fine i'll do it wednesday when i go down because i had an ob appointment and here comes my neighbor um, I had an OB appointment Wednesday, so I was like, I'll do the tire and my COVID test. You guys, I had to go get tested for COVID before being admitted to the hospital. You have to do it like 72 hours. I did it 48 hours. Yeah. So whatever. So went to my doctor's appointment. Everything was fine. And then went, did lunch with my grandparents and the kids, then went and got the tire done and it didn't work. We like we were flat again by that night. Um, went and got my COVID test done. Was so easy, not bad at all. Like 
I don't understand what everyone complains about. It was so fine. Like it just tickles and it made my eyes water and it made me like feel like I needed to sneeze, but it wasn't bad. Okay. And then my grandparents had found a basketball hoop on next door. And so we're, we were like, well, let's go get it. Well, we didn't know if it was taken apart. We didn't know how heavy it was. So John agreed to come down after work. So he left work, came down. They were going to go get it that evening. He and Papa took Brooke and Ty to go get the basketball hoop. Ty tried to jump out of their pickup truck and caught his foot on the edge and fell out of the pickup truck and broke his arm. John knew, like John knew by the way he was like, crying and in pain that that it that something was wrong so they went to urgent care yep he broke both arm bones right above the wrist and they're called buckle fractures he didn't like break them like they snapped they kind of compacted it's so weird so he's in a cast we spent thursday fortunately john was off thursday we spent Thursday running around, um, no, John spent Thursday running around. I spent Thursday trying to pack and get ready because we were supposed to go down to Nana's Thursday night because I had to be in the hospital at like 6.30, 7 o'clock Friday morning to have a baby. <laughs> so Ty broke his arm. John spent Thursday getting the tire refixed and getting a cast put on Ty's arm. And we're so thankful that they were able to do the cast that day because I didn't, you know, we couldn't wait till like Monday. He couldn't be in, well, I'm in labor. Like it was so weird. Um, so that happened. John got the tire fixed. We finally got down there about dinner time. John and I were able to go out on a, you know, little date. The kids, we put the kids to bed, said, you know, goodbye. We'll see you. Next time we see you, we'll have a baby. <laughs> and, um, went in Friday and then while I was in labor on Friday they went down to the park to play with Nana and Pierce got bit by a dog it's just it's been one thing after another like I just I can't so that week was awful that week was awful and then everything that happened with Lorelai coming but we got we got let go Sunday afternoon we spent Sunday night with Nana because the pediatrician wants to see babies three days after they're born. So we had to go in Monday morning to see the pediatrician and do some things around town. And then we got home and we've spent this whole last week just being lazy and recovering. And John has this next week, this week off, and then he goes back next week. So I have one more week with my husband kind of got to get going. Um, the girls started school on Tuesday without a hitch. Ty starts school tomorrow. Pierce was supposed to start school today, <laughs> but we pulled into the parking lot and the whole preschool was out in the parking lot. And we were like, okay, maybe this is like how they're starting. And we got out of the car and his teacher goes, Jessica, don't get the baby out. And I was like, don't get the baby out. And she was like, don't, just don't take her out of the car. And we we're like, okay. I was like, are you joking? And she was like, no. <laughs> and it turns out no pre-K today because a bigger kid in the campus went home not feeling good. And of course, everyone jumps to the conclusion of, oh my gosh, they've got corona. So kids going to go get tested. Of course, they won't have the results for a bit because unless you're in the hospital, it's not quick results. It's like, 48 hours at least if you do it in the hospital it's like 45 minutes but that's just because they're the hospital um oh yeah I had to get another corona test while in the hospital because the place that I did it wasn't going to get the results to the hospital soon enough so they were like we'll just test you again and that one was a little more rough she like a different you know a lady nurse came in and did it and she was a little rougher so it did it was a little more uncomfortable but it was the same thing up the nose. She just was like the first guy was just real gentle, like moving it around my nose and didn't go up like super high. I feel like this girl probably touched the base of my skull <laughs> and was like, <laughs> Arr. Arr. <laughs> so, but I came back negative. We're good. Um, 
so yeah, now we've got to see if we're going back to school tomorrow or if we're going to be distance learning. And if we're going to be distance learning, 2020 just got hard. <laughs> I mean, it's been hard, but my girls do not want to distance learn. And then Ty's schedule is super weird because he's going to public school. I hear raindrops. And... Um, Something just fell in my house. I've got the grid on on my camera and I keep seeing the line and I keep thinking I have one like strand of straight hair, but it's not, it's the grid. Oh, Ty's schedule is weird. Now we're gonna see if the girls are going back and they couldn't like, they couldn't get a hold of parents because the internet at the school has been down all day and there's no cell service out there. So like, she was like, I would have told everyone just not to come, but I couldn't get a hold of anyone outside in the outside world because there's no cell service and um, there's no internet. <laughs> so, oh, she just sent a thing. So the internet must be back up, yay! Or she went home, maybe she went home. So when the girls get home this afternoon, we're gonna figure out what they're gonna be doing because they don't know. Like they thought it would be at least a couple weeks before they had this happen. And now it's up to the county and they are not this county and they're waiting to see what the county wants them to do and they're not they weren't prepared for a possible sick kid which is funny but not funny um so i'm praying that they just get to go back to school because i i can't i can't distance learn i can't that was the spring was awful and having them come home a week after school started is going to break phoebe's heart we did go back and forth with do we want to homeschool do we want to send them to school but at the end of the day, it's just better if we send them to school. So if they end up distance learning, I'm going to go crazy pretty much. So that is my life update for now. I know, just talk, stare at my face and listen to my annoying voice. But that's what's been going on. That's why you haven't seen a video. And that's why the last video you saw was three weeks old. <sighs> because... We had a baby and life exploded. So yeah, I hope you guys have a good day, night, morning, evening, whenever you're watching this. And we'll see y'all in the next actual video because I miss it. Like for a little bit, it's okay. Like good little break. But then I'm like, I want to video. So I did this. And I introduced my baby without my husband, which is one thing I told myself I wasn't going to do. But we'll do like an official, an official introduction with John. And not just of her sleeping in a swing. But I got to take what I can get because most of the time she is attached. Literally. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.